Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to send out virtual bingo card links uh, using myfreebingocards.com. Now I'm going to assume you've got to a screen like this with some buttons here and with the bingo cards you want here. If you haven't used the site before then please watch our other video on how to use our bingo card generator uh, and then come back to this video when you've watched that. So choose the number of bingo cards you want and as soon as you pay you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. Um, now it's important you read this little pop-up here because it's got some really important information. For example, your voucher code in case you need uh, to make any changes and also the email address that uh, your link has been sent to. If that email address is wrong because you typed it wrong, get in touch with us uh, on this email address here and we'll fix it for you. So read this message carefully and when you've understood it all, let's get going. Now there are two ways to send out, well three ways actually, to send out virtual bingo card links um, on myfreebingocards.com. The first method uh, is probably one of the easiest ways. You can invite lots of players with a single link. Um, so you just email out this link to your players and they can access their virtual bingo cards. You can choose how many bingo cards you want to allocate per player here. Let's say I want to allocate three bingo cards per player. I click get link and this is the link to share with all the players that I want to receive three bingo cards. Um, to show you what it's going to look like when they go there, I'll click on this link. They're going to get taken to a page where they need to enter their email address in order to get their bingo cards. Um, the reason we have this is to prevent multiple people getting the same bingo cards, to prevent someone from accidentally clicking the link lots of times and using up all your bingo cards, and uh, just to make the system work. Um, it's a bit more hassle than the free bingo cards, but it's the only way we can do this uh, so that it works. Now it's perfectly possible to make more than one single link. So if you want to share uh, one single link with some players to get three bingo cards, and let's say you want some other players to get five bingo cards, then you can do that. You can make different links uh, for different numbers of bingo cards. So that's a really easy way to share your virtual bingo cards. Um, and when you when players do follow that link and when they do get their bingo cards, they're going to start to show up down here. You'll see how that works in a moment. Method number two, if you know the email addresses for all your players, you can just paste them right in here. Paste. Um, they could be separated by commas or by spaces or one on each line. Again, here you can choose how many bingo cards you want each player to receive. Let's say I want to send two bingo cards to each of these players. Uh, you click send invites. Now, before you send, it's really important to take the following steps. Um, number one, you need to check if these people want to play in your bingo game. Uh, and then number two, only include the email addresses of the people who actually want to play. Number three, before you send, tell them to expect an email invite to your virtual bingo game and the email address it's going to come from. And number four, check that all your email addresses are accurate and you haven't typed any of the email addresses incorrectly. Um, if you haven't done this, close the message, go back and complete those steps. It's really important because otherwise, if we get lots of emails bouncing back or if people start reporting emails as spam, then we will have to revoke your access to the email invite tool uh, because otherwise it harms our ability to send out emails on behalf of other game organizers. So uh, let's send these invites anyway. I have taken these steps. And you'll see that once the invites have been sent, the bingo cards become allocated. So we've allocated two bingo cards to the first player, two bingo cards to the second player, two bingo cards to the third player, and so on. Now you can use this as many times as you like until you've allocated all your bingo cards. So if I've got some players who need four bingo cards, I can change it to four bingo cards and paste their email addresses in here. Now, there is one other method. Um, if you want to invite individual players manually. Uh, if your company policy prevents you from pasting everybody's email addresses and sharing them with us, uh, that's no problem. You can share the links yourself. Um, there are two ways to do that. Number one, you can click here, which just gives you a huge list of all of the individual links. So bingo card number one is accessible from this link, bingo card number two from this link, and so on. It's not very user-friendly, but you can get all the links. Alternatively, you can download all the links in CSV format, a spreadsheet format here. And if you have someone who's familiar with mail merge, then they can send out the links via mail merge. 
Um, once the links have been allocated here, you can see which bingo card everyone's got just by clicking on their email address. So I can check out this bingo card here. This is bingo card 001. Here's what it looks like. Players can mark their bingo card in the browser, or they can press Control P, print the bingo card, and in that case, the blue background disappears and the bingo card uh, will be printed at a sensible size. So players can print out their virtual bingo card or they can play in their browser. So I hope that's explained the different methods we have. We can invite lots of players with one link, pretty easy. We can invite individual players using their email addresses and choose how many bingo cards they get. Or we also have manual methods if that's what you'd prefer. I uh, hope you found this video useful. You might also want to check out our other videos on how to call your bingo game using myfreebingocards.com. Thanks for watching.